everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Dr. Zhivago here. Something is totally different about me. I totally did a very spontaneous, random thing this morning. I decided to cut my hair. And the reason why is because I have a cousin that passed away and not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, her family is celebrating the holidays, their first holidays without her. And I felt really sad. And I thought, you know, is there something like that I could do, you know, something that I could do. And the last photos of her were of her not having any hair. And it's, it's terrible when you look like that. And, you know, um, I really feel for the victims. I really feel for the survivors. You lose everything. You lose your hair. You lose your your eyebrows, your your eyelashes through chemotherapy, and I thought maybe you know if I I donate my hair, this will this will be um, you know a gift from me to anyone out there that's trying to fight this deadly disease. So I cut off a good portion of my hair. I believe it's like 13 inches in length, and so this is how much I cut off. And yeah, it's it it was pretty long, and I was like I need to cut it so. Um, I thought maybe this is a good opportunity for me to cut more than I usually do and I really like it It's it all I had to do is blow dry it and put some you know product on it But it looks fine hair is gonna grow back and it's a it's for a good cause and I did it For my cousin who passed away just recently and then my daughter wanted to cut her hair So she took off about six to seven inches. She has really thick hair. This somebody's gonna really 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 appreciate this donation here from my daughter and she cut her hair really short i mean it's almost a little bit shorter than mine and she's never cut her hair that short but hopefully a child will you know will have some good use for hair and you know at least look a little bit normal um i know losing your hair through chemotherapy can be uh can be devastating and it just gives them some comfort for them to have some kind of you know, something on their head to make them feel better about themselves, then we'll make that sacrifice. And so I don't know if you know that I've been a surgical scrub nurse for over 18 years and then I retired and I actually held cancer in my hands and helped uh, surgeons re reconstruct the breast tissue of a lot of cancer, uh, breast cancer uh uh, you know patients that have lost both or one side and had to get mastectomies and so we had to do uh, breast con reconstruction on them so if you can please donate to you know your uh, favorite cancer you know uh, society do them a little bit of a little bit of support you could either donate or donate your hair or just create awareness. So, you know, if you have any time, just research it and see what you can do. I hope that they can find a cure and that we all can, you know, um, keep our loved ones in our lives for a very long time. And not just humans, but also, you know, our pets are stricken by this deadly disease. And I've lost um, my beloved dog to breast, breast cancer and yeah, uh, animals do get cancer as well and it's devastating so anyways on a lighter note i'm really excited that i got this this uh this product in the mail today it hasn't even gotten into the stores yet it's not even available and i decided to take advantage of the early order from amazon and it's part of the amazon alexa family and it is just like amazon alexa but it has a screen on it and it is so cute let me get my my trusty scissors so i can open this up because this is how the package came it is so great i don't even know what that this says the greatest showman i guess there's a movie coming out and it's called the greatest showman um, in theaters this christmas and it looks like a really great movie i think i'm gonna check it out Okay, I got my trusty scissors, and I just wanted to show you this little horse here. Um, there's another horse that my cousin gave to me as a gift to my daughter, and it came with cute little uh, Disney 
princesses and this is you know I, I like to keep this around just as a reminder that you know she was just the sweetest person ever and she gifted my daughter these cute little um uh figurines that were were will tre treasure forever because she's no longer here and it's the only memory that we have of her which is oh you know so sad but anyways I am going to continue opening this up. I'm so excited. It's not even, I don't know if people have um, put this on their YouTube channels yet, the unboxing of this new Amazon Alexa product. And I got it simply because, you know, it's for my business and also helps me to remind me of things because I have such a hectic schedule. And if you don't know, I have a new app that's out on the iTunes store. And let me go get my folder. Here it is. It is called Pals AI, which is a an app which is associated with Amazon Alexa and you can use it in conjunction with her. All you have to do is log in. If your parent is with you, have your parent log in while you're at home and it is useful for parents, it is useful for kids and it works with the um, Amazon Alexa app. You don't have to have Alexa to uh, use my, my app and it is called uh, Pals. AI pals <laughs> sorry I woke her up pals AI look it up in the iTunes store it is definitely for iPhones and iPads right now we are working on the Android edition um, you can also look up more information at www pals p a l s dot international and so you look it on um, on the iTunes store and you can look at the information and it is absolutely free. So that is my app called Pals AI and it's a really cool, amazing app. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Here it is. And again, I don't think anyone has done a, a, a real thorough review, but I like to do a thorough unboxing as you can tell. So let's put this down and here it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is exciting for me because I ordered the white one and I'm really excited to see what it's like. Um, I'm just gonna unbox it and then we'll do another review upon using it and we'll show you how it works exactly when it's all set up with Wi-Fi and all that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and un unravel it, take off the plastic here. This is so exciting. It's like Christmas, <laughs> before Christmas. Here it is. And um, I guess there's a little barcode right here. And I guess if you ordered it through your, your account, it's all, um, I guess it's registered under your Amazon account. Because I remember ordering um, a dot for my dad and it it asked me if I wanted to associate it with my account. And I was like, no, I don't. I, so I think it is associated with your account once you order it. Okay, here we go. See, I've got to take off this little sticker right here. And... And... Love, oh, lovely, look at it, oh my gosh, so exciting, it looks like the little, that little Pixar movie Eve, um, Wally, it looks like her head, <laughs> and so here is the top, okay, there's a Plus and a minus I'm pretty sure for the volume and then here's the power button it looks like and then on the bottom I guess you could get a base for this but I did order the base and so it's like a rubbery sort of base at the bottom so it won't shift around but let's take out this plastic I know everybody I know everybody loves that plastic ah 
so nice and very beautiful oh my goodness okay so let's just put this down and put it right here so we'll scratch it and then inside the box on the left hand side is it looks like the power adapter so let us take it out here and this is it looks like a really big brick big white brick okay that's what it looks like and here and it looks like it is a regular plug-in adapter it's round at the end right there and then we have inside is the how to turn it on so that's what the book like looks like it looks pretty simple and since we have Amazon Alexa you can do you know pretty much anything except um, there are a few things here you can actually uh, calling and messaging so if you have another person that has this you can do uh, it has a camera in here on the very top so there's a camera so if you don't like because some people well I do on my laptops and on my desktops I put um, and my tablets I put a little sticker on the camera there so if you're not feeling particularly 100% secure, then I would suggest getting a little sticker for the top there just to make yourself feel a little bit better at night. But actually this is like a, a nightstand clock. So let's see if we can turn this on. I'm gonna get a cord. So I had to specifically buy an extension cord since I do a lot of unboxing. And so let's uh this is cool this is a rubber band it's not one of those little things right there so um sorry my dog is barking he just bought like mcdonald's and we have fries and he wants some so what you do is you basically take this and it looks like i don't know it doesn't i can't really read because I don't have my reading glasses but it looks like it's the one to the left side that is the power cord Let's turn it on it's already on it doesn't power up automatically when you plug it in you've got to press the oh it does <laughs> I thought she had to like basically press the power oh my gosh look at it buddy it's it's powering up so ex oh my gosh. Is it super loud? What if what if she says her name? Hello, your echo spot is ready for setup. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, so it says English English United States. United Kingdom or Dutch? I want to try United Kingdom. Hello. I love, I love the English voices. Okay, so the other question is, where do you want your, uh, where do you want your Wi-Fi to be set up? I'm going to try that one. Oh, and it has a little keyboard on there. If you can see it. All right, there's a little keyboard right here. And as you could tell, uh, type in, I don't know if you can maybe tell it. <laughs> you could type in your password. So let's see. Um, I don't remember my password. Hold on. Okay. If you can't see a little typing, you need your reading glasses. Okay. So I check mark. Let's see. Connecting. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The moment. Fetch registration. Uh, fetch your registration, which is sign into your Amazon. It says to sign in to your Amazon account. I don't know if you can see because of the lights. Sorry. Sign into your Amazon account. So you got to sign into your email, your phone number, and put your password in. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I hope this is the right password. Registering. So you just got to type in all your password information, your email, how you regularly nor normally set up, uh, and I guess, 
enter into your Amazon account. So I usually use my email and then my password. And so it's gonna take a while. It looks like it's taking a few minutes. It's registering <clears throat> this specific Echo Show. So um, we'll come back on part two. We're gonna show you how it works exactly, okay? I'm really excited and I think it's gonna be a great product. It looks really cool at the moment. And I don't wanna, you know, wait for it to register, but we're gonna register this and then we'll be right back with part two. All right, everybody, I'll see you guys later. Bye.